Bitch. God, I'm wearing these big Beach dick ass. colored Beach glasses. Beach ass muda fucker. Beach ass muda fucker. Adam Friedland is a little dick ass boy who has never had sex. The only way to cure the issue of a, a smaller penis is you must find an albino child. <laughs> 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 and then you will use the a knife virgin, a virgin. to remove uh, the ears and eyelids <laughs> of the albino child. <laughs> and when it is uh, screaming, <laughs> only then will you penetrate the child. <laughs> 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 we must have this in Africa. I have never had consensual sex in my life. <laughs> you must never respect a woman. <laughs> if I have, if I know one thing, <laughs> it is that <laughs> <laughs> it is always wear sandals <laughs> and you, never respect I, a woman. The only time I take off my sandals <laughs> is when I have to rape. <laughs> God damn, I love this character. I literally almost crashed the car. We were yeah, doing that shit African the whole time. Afri- whoa, whoa. Not just African guy. African man, dude. Come on. Yeah. Don't you condemn his way of life. Is that- you know, I mean, what did what did the fucking, the, the Bundy shit happen over? Like a post office? I think that they yeah. wanted to like, you know, put down a calendar in. or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, they wanted to let their calendar. They wanted to get rid of the Garfield calendar in a post <laughs> office. Oh, like, Not Oregon? my fucking, this is my country. <laughs> no, it was a land rights issue. Yeah, something. Yeah, there was like, but, but they took from- over. I know what it was, but it's. <laughs> I was doing a bit out of him. You don't have to fucking. <laughs> oh, who's <laughs> you fucking loser? Their cattle. Beach ass. Adam you Friedland. Beach ass. He's a beach ass motherfucker. Fuka. This is why you are not allowed to come on the pirate missions. <laughs> <laughs> you must stay here and and get AIDS, <laughs> like the women. <laughs> stay here in the village. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> wow, what a good bit, boys. Yeah. Uh we were periscoping that guy in the car. <laughs> African guy? Yeah. <laughs> I do pretty good ones. Yeah? Oh, you're from Africa. Yeah. I always forget that you're African American. African American. Yeah. Now wait, so that's why you... I got into Harvard. Uh no, I have hair. I just cut my hair short as a style choice. It's yeah, he you... has a mackle. I have more. a lot of hair. You and Ben are my only bald friends. No, Ben is bald, but I have I try to short limit hair. I try to limit the amount of bald guys I'm friends with because you never know when it's actually cancer. <laughs> we also don't know for sure the cancer isn't contagious. That's right. The science is still, you know that's still out. Yeah. You know? The only way to cure cancer the only way <laughs> to cure cancer. Yeah, you must have, have sex, sex with an albino virgin. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what Pizzagate is about. Is there a new goth though? Is there? There's got to be. No. What do weird kids no, do now? No, dude. Scene kids replace goths, and well, sorry, emo kids replace goths. Then they yes. became scene kids. Then scene kids became just hipsters. They grew up, and now I think teenagers don't have, and they all just use apps. So yeah. they go to school nude. They don't wear any clothes <laughs> or have any style. They identify based on which apps and emojis they're using. Uh-huh. They don't even teach any kind of communication skills in school anymore. They sit in the room with the lights off and throw feces at each other. <laughs> I heard that they eat the poo poo as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. Oh, they do? Dude, I rewatched that video again recently. Eat the poo poo? Yeah, it's yeah. so fucking funny. It's the funny. funniest video. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Pastor Dr. Martin Semper. I'm here in the capacity as the chairman of the National Task Force Against Homosexuality in Uganda. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> I am here in the capacity as the... No, but because my name is Dr. Pastor Martin Semper. <laughs> Just like, giving himself all these titles. My oh, name yeah, is uh, like Dr., Dr. Pastor Martin Semper, and I am here in the capacity <laughs> as the chairman of the Task Force Against Homosexuality in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was what like, I remember. It is that. Our, our duty to make sure that homosexuality never ever sees the light of legality in this part of the land of Africa. We are making legislation to make sure that sodomy and homosexuality never sees the light of legality in this land of the part of Africa. I've taken time to do a little research to know what homosexuals do in the privacy of their bedroom. One of the things they do is called anal leaking, where they, a, a man's anus is leaked like this. 
by the other person, like ice cream. Like ice cream. And then what happens? <laughs> even poopoo comes out. The other one poopoo's out, huh? and then they eat the poopoo. The other one they do is they have a sex practice called feasting, where they insert their hand into the other man's hand, and the it anus. goes all the, into the anus all the way. And it is so painful, they have to take drugs, but they enjoy it. Now, if we have any children, please step out. This is a parental guidance moment. Child, hey, that child can be moved out. No, so one. I've done research. <laughs> this is what they do. Number one, you can see a man here having sucked the other person's rectum and the other person is poo-pooing and this one is eating the poo, -poo all over the place. Oh, huh? so Tell me, when you have a law against homosexuality, do you say accept eating poo, -poo? Hey, I mean, look at this guy sincerely. Bishop. Ah, oh. oh, Stagafulizer. <laughs> huh? Hajat. We do not want this sickness. This is sick, and it's therefore deviant. We do not want it. I remember that was one of the I first the times that guy we speaks. hung yeah. in D.C. Uh, I opened for Wham City at that church, and you like showed up drunk. And then you I don't came. think I was drunk. Well, we went back to my apartment. I was like, you were like, do you have anything to drink? I was like, I only have this red wine. So you're drinking this red wine. You're like, yo, you seen eat the poo poo before? <laughs> <laughs> you're like pe petting my cat the wrong way. <laughs> fuck pissing it off. Yeah, that, fuck cat that, sucked. Sucked. that cat was a piece of shit. But uh... Now, they start off by touching each other's genitals and smelling each other. Then this one smears the poo poo all over the other person's face. As if that is not enough, he puts the hand deeper. As Africans, we want to ask Barack Obama to explain to us, is this what he wants to bring to Africa as a human right to eat the poo-poo of our children? You're tweeting about looking at titties. I stay me. I'm yeah, not trying to get you. in. I'm not stay trying to get you, into the media zone. You yeah, know? fuck the media. I'm trying to look at Adam, titties Adam, online. Adam desperately wants to be MSM, dude. Uh, Mainstream uh, media uh, fake uh, news. No, nah, the cool. He wants to be the dirtbag left cum boy. Yeah, Shut yeah, the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> That's his dream, dude. <laughs> That's what people true. be like. You know, Adam, they make fun of him, but He's actually he, he's the best at the yeah, news. Yeah, he's actually the best one. He's the best yeah. one at the news and saying woke things. Well, that's true. I mean, I can't really argue with that. You're the favorite. You're the favorite cumboy of Trump repliers, dude. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what he is. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, guys. <laughs> beach ass. Beach ass motherfucker. You, you are a beach. You are a beach. You are a beach. You are the albino of the show. <laughs> we are going to cut off your arms and put them in soup. We are going to have sex with your knees. We are going to cut off your head and fuck your blind <laughs> eye holes. <laughs> you albino bitch. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, testing more nukes. And instead of nuking him like he expects, we just start fucking eating Korean people. That would okay. I see what you're saying. That that's would be badass. that's. What a, if Korean people really, were the most delicious? A meat? new type of warfare. I'm intensely against that idea. I'm intensely against eating humans and cannibalism in general. I'm not. However, I guess that's just the African warlord in me. <laughs> Listen, you just that you have to just absorb my their power. <laughs> you have to understand that this is because of my upbringing in uh, the jungle. <laughs> Well, the food was scarce, but the enemies were not. <laughs> That's what everyone remembers about Idi Amin, is that he was eating people. Yeah, well, a lot of them he ate was? people. Yeah. This yeah, what, what, yeah what, I, I might have said this on the pod, like, at the beginning of the show, but one time I was on a six train, and there was this woman who just had her phone out, just yelling at this African dude. And she's like, I got your ass, and you on Facebook Live right now. <laughs> she's like, she stopped the trade with your African ass. She's like, get the fuck out of my country. I'm an American <laughs> citizen, and you African, and you on Facebook Live right now. <laughs> she's like, just being raped, like, yeah, fucking that holds up legally. Nationalist, yeah. yeah. Facebook Live is legal. That African guy leaves the train. He's like. What have I done <laughs> to deserve this? <laughs> and then he's like leaving the train station, you know, and it's like, 
I am just a poor boy, though my story seldom told. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the train station, he's like, where is the place for an African man like me? And then he passes by Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> and then we zoom out, and that's on the TV at Equinox. And then the personal trainer goes, see? <laughs> yep. So how about a membership? <laughs> the introductory we can rate is $7,253 a week with one training session. You're allowed to come into the gym for five minutes. Oh, <laughs> uh, Fuck. <laughs> Good luck, Jonathan. No, yeah. no, that's Nigeria. That's such a good name, dude. And, and was Good Luck Jonathan even a bad guy? Yeah, he was a bad. I think so. I thought he was like. He looked like him old as shit, and he never bit. gave power away. I think is he still in power? Who he cares? Might. Good luck, Jonathan. Well, wait till you see <laughs> good bad fuck luck, Jonathan. That's that uh -oh. guy. Uh oh, that's, good. that's a good take, folks. <laughs> More like bad luck, Jonathan. <laughs> Damn, your scope is coming for everyone today. Yeah, good luck, Jonathan. Bad luck, Jonathan. Your retarded brain. Nice. Got him. Beach us. Good night, Ang. Beach good us. Night, Jonathan. Hello, I am good luck, Jonathan. <laughs> and I am here to say, Adam is gay. Yeah. Okay, goodbye now. A lot of people ask me, good luck, Jonathan. Where did you get your name, good luck? <laughs> and the answer is, 40 years ago, <laughs> I slept with a woman without her consent, <laughs> and the police never found out. <laughs> And Everyone in Nigeria is named Good Like Frank, Good Like Billy. Good like <laughs> and to this I say, I must have pretty good luck. <laughs> All of my friends laughed and they said, from now on, your name will be Rapist John. <laughs> I said, but please, I have to get the job. And they said, okay, we will call you Good Luck Jonathan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take that, Good Luck Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, is, who's that other that other Nigerian guy, Tokyo Sex Wale? Whoa. Who's that? Hell yeah. There's, a, there's some African politician named Tokyo Sex Wale. <laughs> that wow. is unfucking believable. That's so cool. That rules so much. Yeah. Damn, Tokyo Sex Wale. A lot of people ask me, Tokyo <laughs> Sex Wale, where did you get your name? <laughs> and 40 years ago, I, I went to Japan and I had sex with a no woman way. without her consent. <laughs> But she was very fat. Have you ever watched Nigerian stand up? No. Nigerians are cool as shit. Pretty dude. funny. Oh, they really are. Yeah. They're fun. Nigerians people. love college too. Uh, yeah. At UMBC it was all Nigerians. Yeah. Nigerians are fun loving people. They love they they they're fucking shitty to do business with. <laughs> yeah. Why? I've they're a lot like, of emails. They'll they'll like uh just you know, you'd be like, "All right, so I'll, I'll do a job for $20 and they'll just hand you 15 at the end." And they're like, "It was $20." What is this based on? Based on numerous jobs I've done for Nigerians. When? Uh, I've done like consulting contract work for Contract killing Nigerians. days. Yeah, contract killings. <laughs> <laughs> now selling phones to them and shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, They're shrewd. 15. Yeah. I mean, every every type of race has their own way of bargaining. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the Nigerians' way is just like playing dumb, I guess. Mm. That's cool. I yeah, like that. They're like, oh, I thought you said it was 15. It's like, motherfucker, you know it's not 15. You yeah. know it's $20. You can argue with me if you want. I'm not going to cut you a deal. <laughs> Jews wasting everybody's time. For what? Like a brat's cell phone case? Yeah, or for whatever? a brat's cell phone case. <laughs> dude, I would get so for horny when I saw the brats, dude. A pair of sandals. Did you think the brats were hot? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I got hard. Those big ass eyes, oh, yeah, dude. Bro, I, like, I used to get I so horny. I used to get fucking hard, dude. Molestrios is low key the most fun character. I love Molestrios. <laughs> yeah. Just. Just saying, shed that bitch, <laughs> ma'am. I will never not smile when I say that phrase. <laughs> shed that bitch, ma'am. It's almost like you must never respect a woman. Yeah. It is very important <laughs> that you never respect a woman. <laughs> because a woman is not capable of saying yes to sex. <laughs> Stop watching those videos, molestrios. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to learn, bitch, man. I mom. love Africa. <laughs> <laughs> These are the only good ones. <laughs> stop watching, stop watching African Gavin McGinnis. <laughs> African McGinnis. So a dollar fifty plus thirty five cents. Yeah, so seventy seven dollars. Yeah. Damn, I did that math good. Dad. Good job, stop. That feels really good, man. Um, to do math fast. This is what it feels like to be smart. This is what Stephen Hawking feels like. Of course, yeah. dude. Fuck yeah. Of course. Well, he's yeah. fucking his nurse. Even <laughs> he's he can't getting move. sucked off by his nurse. When I was a kid, I thought that, Keep that computer it, you read fucking his horn. mind. 
<laughs> oh shit! And then, like he couldn't control, so he would just be like, you know, there's too many black people I here. I wish I was dead. <laughs> yeah. Somebody unplug my fucking <laughs> brain. I wish I don't. I don't want to think about stars anymore. <laughs> Please fucking kill me. <laughs> That's fucking... That would be awesome. Yeah, it's like, it's funny how they were like... He's an English guy, but they gave him an American voice. It's true. Yeah, that's but messed what up. What if they gave him an African voice, you know? Uh-oh. Oh. What do you think uh, that would uh, be for like? For example, what if... <laughs> but you have to understand, the universe was created by a Big Bang, you see? Because, <laughs> Bishop, seriously. Do you think the, the universe was not created? You know, that'd be yeah, fun. That'd be good. Huh? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I think it would go a little something, something like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> yeah, we save money by get computer from China. <laughs> 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 yeah, you think Stephen Hawking wouldn't wouldn't skimp on something like computer, but you know, time is rough right now. <laughs> it's, time is relative and it's also rough. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Right? My first girlfriend had a had a Senegalese parrot named Patty. Senegalese. And that was actually the origin of African guy voice. She had a parrot, like a yeah, Sen- Senegal parrot. And so, like, he didn't speak, <laughs> really, but he was very surly because she had gone on vacation at some point. And they're very smart animals. So, yeah. you go on vacation, then... They think you've abandoned it. You come back three weeks later, the parrot's like, I'm not fucking friends with you anymore. Yeah, yeah. And so it would just hate it, everyone. And, uh, like, you know, you go up to its cage and it would scream at you and try and bite your fingers. And so I would go up to the cage and I'd, you know, put my finger in it and let, you know, they try to bite me. And then I would do, like, a voice of him. But he was from Africa, you know, because he's from <laughs> Senegal. So I'd be like, get, get away from my cage. <laughs> get away from it. Do not come to my cage. <laughs> And, you know, she would, like, laugh at like, the voice. It was like, you just ruined my parrot now. I can't, I can't appreciate my parrot anymore because I'm not going to be able to see, look at him without hearing the voice. Do not put your finger in my cage. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Wait, because do, if you do not bring me a cracker, because I, you do not understand, is that all I want in this world is a cracker. And you do not bring it to me. <laughs> Yo, dog, you got it. I told you about the dangers of exercise, man. Man, fuck that. I'll be fine. You, you just treat exercise all that shit the way out. I treat hookers. You just can't stop. Uh, yeah, it's good to exercise. It makes you feel good. It yeah, that's way now. more of a healthy thing than, than fucking I'm saying hookers. it's an addictive behavior. I'm not equating the two behaviors. I feel good, dude. I'm like happy for the first time in like two years. I'm doing spots you see, again. Man. Yeah, doing spots yeah. again. I'm not fat anymore. Mm-hmm. I got yep. fucking fat as shit, and then I like was just letting myself. You know, have my fancy writing jobs and <laughs> stand up. I got miserable. Yeah, man. You seem really happy, like you're in a good place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and I'm good, kinder man. to people unless they're, you know... On your podcast? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's important. The only okay. reason for you to be happy is so you can share it with others. You know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch ass. You do not, do not you say this. You are a gay mother. You are a gay bitch. <laughs> <laughs> to say this to my face. That is the one we will rip and rub. <laughs> the one who is happy. Yeah. Shh, here he comes. <laughs> Welcome to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your flight. My name is Mr. Johnson, I will be showing you to your mosquito net that you will be living in for the next six months. This is the one the president stays in. <laughs> the president is in jail for eating people. <laughs> so, uh, back home this week, I was looking at my bar mitzvah pictures. Yeah, that's like a deleted scene from Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> a 20 minute long scene where he's researching alternative medicines and it's him in Africa fucking a six year old. <laughs> he's like, they say. We have cured. the cure right here for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have sex with a virgin. <laughs> and then you use a machete to remove the limbs of an albino. <laughs> Turn them into soup. <laughs> That's great, man. Yeah, is that how uh, is that how Black Panther ends? Someone takes his picture and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's the juice of the, that purple juice is albino blood.
Yeah. Like the Unabomber one makes sense, like the first half of it, and then it's my like, man never got pussy. Can you imagine? Who the Unabomber? Unabomber? Yeah, he got into college at like thirteen or something. He never fucked in his life. Yeah, of course he's gonna be a bomber. Well, there's no, that I just story. wanted to live out in the woods, and if people could have left him alone, he wouldn't have had to do it. That's the thing, man. Is like some people just need to be left the fuck alone. Is that what happened with the Unabomber? I don't know about that. I, think I need he, to be left. I alone. think he needed some pussy. Wasn't he? Wasn't his alone. whole thing about he, overpopulation? Yeah, or he something? hated technology and he and hated modern yeah. society. So he wanted yeah. to. Okay, overpopulation. He wanted, to, he wanted you, to. Hold on. He wanted yeah. to live out in the woods, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and then in there Montana, he would just live out in the woods and live as a sovereign citizen out in the woods, and he was self sufficient. And then there was like a some sort of development that was encroaching on his space mm-hmm. and then they like kicked him out of the woods and he was like, I guess I'll mail bombs to people. That makes sense. That but makes he, sense, logically. He, if you <laughs> study him, he is like the spider. <laughs> <laughs> because the spider does not attack mm-hmm. unless you touch his web. <laughs> and mm-hmm. if we are to allow the spider to live where it wants and to be by itself, the spider will not bite you. Adam, move your phone. Um... <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I'm just over here producing. I missed the spider What's that, riff. Isn't there that story about Kaczynski where he was in Harvard at like 14? Well, here's what I'm saying. Overpopulation. How do you populate? You fuck. Sex. You have sex. What did much. he not do? Not have sex. He so he was fuck. addressing the issue of overpopulation. He was Very similar it. to the spider. <laughs> <laughs> the spider, mm-hmm. if you do not fuck it, <laughs> it will not make more spiders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if you do not like the spider... Do not fuck it. Okay. Uh, yeah, but that's the Aesop's love, fable. I love, it's very I love important. Sweet sticks. The doctor is Will Smith doing African voice from the movie the Concussion. Yes, yes. yes you yes. got it. You got to why, why, throw back. Why, to- why you do this to your head? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you going to make your noggin feel bad? <laughs> I am a doctor who has taken the time to do a little research into what homosexuals do in the privacy of their own bedroom. <laughs> they have a practice called anal feasting, yeah. where one man's hand is inserted into a Another man's rectum, and, and, and it's so to painful take, they have take to take drugs. drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and then Vince McMahon. Like, my favorite him. part of that video is that they're just showing hardcore gay porn to like a f- room full of Ugandan parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah concussion yeah, like, <laughs> starring Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to, in the capacity as the chairman of the task force against concussions in the NFL and also homosexuality <laughs> in Uganda. It's true. Did you know that 68% of the gay community has CT yeah, from sex? Whoa. From getting their fucking getting their, brains from not getting their mashed up by yeah, cock. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they do it. <laughs> they just fucking, those big Ugandan dicks, they use them like fucking baseball bats on each other's heads. Yeah, why, yeah. why you do this? Why you do this? Why you do this? <laughs> and of course, we, we, gotta, we gotta use that name. The, uh, uh, Hotel we can't say, No, we can't say that. <laughs> I just remember what the name was, the fake African name that we used sometimes. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, no, that's for a sketch. That's something, why we can't do it. Something, it's yeah, much yeah, funnier yeah, written yeah, yeah. down. Yeah, if you yeah, just yeah. say it, people don't know how it's spelled and they think it's racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which we can't just say it. We it is. It. But <laughs> it's, it's a bad word. Yeah. Um, anyway, okay, but so back to Why good people don't know what it is? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, what yeah. word <laughs> on this be. podcast? Yeah, you don't know the slight change we did to that word to make it funny. You? Yeah, dude. No. I only, I always put my dick on toaster. Yeah, yeah. Valencia. Oh, yeah. Valencia. <laughs> yeah. No, I meant the little like Snapchat still stolen ones, like the little oh, dog, like the cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I found out recently why girls do the dog. Because it makes your eyes bigger. It right? makes the, it makes your face look less fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All the, all those filters do that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have big ass eyes. I mean, I'm still, I, st- I don't use Snapchat at all. I, I don't send snaps. Instagram to people. video does it. Um. But goddamn, if I don't enjoy the shit out of putting myself in African and Indian men's faces <laughs> with the face swap thing. That's just for you. And it's just for me. Yeah. I just yeah. sit there for hours, you know. As like, Martin Luther what, King. Why do you bring me these coconuts? Because it's not. <laughs> this is my house. You cannot just talk to myself. <laughs> hours. <laughs> How dare you do this to me? <laughs> for no one. For no one. You're not recording no it, you're just looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, you know, it's things like that. It's like, yeah, I don't need fucking therapy most of the time. No. You know, I, I have nice. my own resources. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I just need a bunch of bananas. Just to do it in India. Put an Indian guy's face on me. Yep. Where are the gels? <laughs> Show me where the gels have gone to. Are they in the bathroom? 
If there are gels in the bathroom, I want to go in there. Do to not worry, it. I have been videotaping them. I have been cleaning my penis all day <laughs> in preparation <laughs> to meet the gels. <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot wait. <laughs> the one thing I cannot wait for is to meet the gels in the bathroom with my very clean penis. <laughs> <laughs> it is so very clean for you. Hell yeah, dude. You, oh, you we found that we might be going on an international tour. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we might literally do we a might, world yeah. tour. It's it's this is pretty crazy, but we might be literally going on a world tour. <laughs> yeah, and touring for three months. Mm-hmm. Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What well, we will Tora be the Bora. best comedians in Nigeria. <laughs> the thing Nigerian people like is to be talked to like this. <laughs> Hello, my brothers. Yeah. It is I, Star Frost. Have you ever noticed when you go to buy sandals, but they do not have any sandals at the sandal <laughs> store? And you have to walk home without shoes on, and you say, why didn't I just wear my other sandals to the sandal store? Every time you do this, and they're like, that is true, every that time. That is so true. You think that you will get the sandals there, <laughs> but they like, are clothes. Yeah, you really like, do be like stop, that. Please stop talking like that. Yeah. <laughs> we can see you. <laughs> yeah. They just not friends that come down. Yeah. They just think comedy is coming to Nigeria. Uh, right. That's so funny. <laughs> they think it is an opportunity for business networking. <laughs> Right, every, Nigerians think every public event is a business meeting. Hell yeah, dude! Mm. Nigerians fucking love Tug college too. Yeah. For creating ultimate money, so true. Yeah, creating you ultimate. Yeah, go. Where way. are you going? Get off my back! I am going to a business meet and greet with the Come Town Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I would love there to hear are, some. There are American business entrepreneurs from America. Listen, if you're a Nigerian entrepreneur, mm-hmm. pitch me. Mm-hmm. Let's do Shark Tank. Sob's I'm trying get to invest, off. dude. I would love, I would love to lose all of my money investing in weird Nigerian businesses. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard of limousines, but what about stretch sandals? <laughs> you, and all, four, you and you, and you, all of your, of your friends, friends can wear the same <laughs> pair of sandals. <laughs> <laughs> and you go, you all walk around together. That way, because it is one pair of sandals, when you get to the sandal store, three of your friends can buy normal sandals <laughs> and wear the normal sandals home, and you maintain the limousine size sandals. <laughs> So good. <laughs> to keep for yourself. Mm-hmm. And this will solve the problem of, and in case the sandal store is closed, <laughs> you will wear the limousine sandals back home. Dude, I'm sold on stretch sandals. Yeah. Coming up, a Nigerian shark tag. I want $12 to buy a lemonade. <laughs> 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 what is your business idea? Did I drink the lemonade? Okay, fine. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> I'll give you six dollars, and then you bring me half the lemonade to drink for me. <laughs> and then we, I get a ten percent on all your piece from now yeah, on. Yeah. I get a ten percent stake on your piece. <laughs> no. It's Nigerian Shark Tank. Um, Just, I would like to have dinner. They're like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, what was it? Have you seen Nigerian cinema? I want to watch a whole Nigerian movie. Nollywood. All I see is the the clips online, and they look yeah. incredible, oh, yeah. dude. No, Ugandan cinema is the best. Is that Ugandan? Uh huh. The one where it's all like the special effects are all bullshit, and it's that baby, yeah. and that oh my god <laughs> clip, which oh, is one yeah, of the best really clips good. of all time. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Crying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I cannot wait to be a Hollywood director. So I'm going on Nigerian Shark Tank to pitch my movie idea where the, it is a pair of sandals that has a projector inside of it. <laughs> and this will play the movie or this is the movie? Or can you sc- that way, clarify? The projector in the sandals, will, wherever you are walking, it goes forward. So it will project the wall in front of you and you can pretend you are walking to someplace nice than your house. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and what I really want is $12 <laughs> to 
to go buy a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> lemonade in Nigeria is really expensive, man. <laughs> you got to import the lemons, dude. That's not native to Nigeria. They don't got lemons out there? This is a Nigerian Natives. guy going on Shark Tank where his idea is like a door that's on wheels. <laughs> so like you can go anywhere. You can open any door. <laughs> you can end up in any room you want. You <laughs> <laughs> no, this is where haven't you always wanted to go through a door? <laughs> Perhaps to the beach. I like the beach, but there are no doors to go yeah, through. Yeah, when you go to the beach, there's no door to walk through. <laughs> <laughs> How does it? It does not even you feel like you are at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you, you bring around. your own door to the beach <laughs> And that way you can open the door for your friends To be a doorman even at the beach <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck <laughs> What's the biggest city in Nigeria? <laughs> Lagos. I, would love, Lagos. I would love a sketch It's just Nigerian Shark Tank mm -hmm. There's just like They'd say no to the door guy, and then a man walks out with his arms outstretched, and he's covered in cotton balls glued to him, but his penis is hanging out. And he's like, my friends. And they're like, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> just massive Nigerian cotton. No, you have to leave. <laughs> Absolutely But not. you have not even heard my business idea. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That's a big-ass city, though, right? Nigeria is the richest country in Africa. Now. Yeah, they're probably rich as hell. They took over from my native land uh -huh. of South Africa, which was the, the white devil. Yeah, it was the breadbasket of Africa. Nigerians yeah. are obsessed Yacubian. with being businemen. Yeah, dude. Well, they they've have been oil. scamming their way to shit. No, they have a they have a lot of oil. Nah, it's mostly in email scams. It is the prince email scam guy, but mm -hmm. it is also oil. Yeah, I believe. I and hip-hop. So. They've exported a lot of hip-hop really? around the world. Ooh, this is a great Wiz website. Kid. That's Nigeria right. Nigeria Business News. Businessnews.com.ng. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, God. What's the first... Uh, this is a tough... This is a real slippery slope here. I yeah, like. I know. But let's go down it for a sec. DMO extends N100 billion suck hawk offer. <laughs> That's what awesome. What the fuck is suck hawk? <laughs> no, you're making that up. No, yeah. Suck hawk, I guess, is their money. Nuh uh. They, yeah. they buy things with <laughs> suck hawks? No. Can I have way. 10 suck hawks, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry. Suck hawk is the Arabic name for financial certificates. Uh -oh. What are That's pretty what good is going too, on? Also that. commonly referred to as Sharia compliant bonds. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of Muslims in Nigeria. Wait, wait, Sharia, you have to, it has to be Sharia compliant? Yeah, if you're so Muslim. If, yeah, if you want to invest in Sharia law, you need to buy suckcock. <laughs> oh, you security. have to have 10 suckcocks. <laughs> yeah. If you want your fucking wife to wear, look like a ninja or whatever. Dude, yeah. you gotta let, you gotta let conser conservative radio know about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People that think Sharia law is coming to the States. It's coming, dude. They're trying to do that this caravan. suckcock shit. What the fuck's going on? They're talking about, there's like a fucking Mad Max style caravan full of Mexicans yeah. and Muslims coming to the border. I, I, I've become what? so racist that I legitimately thought the Nigerian business news shit would be like, I'm opening a Sandoz. <laughs> no, they're rich as hell, yeah, dude. It's like a huge country. Yeah, yeah. It's like a wildly influential country yeah, in the world. They're super powerful. <laughs> yeah. it's like, and all, I'm like, what the fuck is this? A thousand firms bid for government contracts? I'm like, this isn't funny at all. <laughs> My friend. Yeah, FMC hey, Bank launches limited personal and business banking proposition. This isn't... Where's yeah, the sandal dude. stuff <laughs> that I imagined in my head? No, there... <laughs> we are selling Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headsets, and sandals together. No yeah. longer will you have to buy uh, yeah. them separately. MP3 Who is sandals? excited for Bluetooth sandals? <laughs> Bluetooth sandals. <laughs> a million dollars. <laughs> that, that sets off a fucking well, bidding I was, war. I want 10 million suck cock. <laughs> I, would, I would give you 10 suck It has suck to be cock. compliant with Sharia law. Anyway, Damn. guys. But yeah, oh, it's a good funny. time to mention BetDSI.com. That is yeah, a bring place it up. where you can gamble on as Nigerian businesses. As many suck cocks businesses. as you want. Yeah, BetDSI.com, now available in Nigeria. Yeah. 100% certified to work here in Nigeria. <laughs> Come Town, sponsored by BetDSI.com, an award-winning mobile app. Mm -hmm. Would you, let me tell you, I have been yeah. in, in the sandal business my entire life. And there's one thing I love doing with my sandals, is wearing them 
to the gambling district. <laughs> The internet cafe to log on to betdsi.com and place bets on which sports teams will do something. Mm-hmm. And they have an award-winning mobile app and 24-7 customer service that you can call up anytime and say, I am a prince, I need $20 million, so I will give back and to you. And they will give it to you. And they will do it. I have scammed so much money out of this company. <laughs> What's like... The biggest city in Africa, uh, Cairo, Africa City, Cairo, Africa city? Cairo yeah. might be. I live Welcome to, to Africa City. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard of the Twin Towers? Well, here we have the Three Towers. <laughs> it's even better. It's just a picture. You can only see them through this window, and it costs twenty dollars to look at the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, is there a better view outside? No, no, no it's not. It costs twenty five dollars to go outside. <laughs> the uh, Nigerians rule. I love Africa City. Yeah, uh, please, sir. Uh, <clears throat> I need to borrow twenty dollars from you, but to do it, I must first have thirty dollars. A puzzleizer. I have figured out a new business. <laughs> Lagos seems tight, right? Is is that the capital of Nigeria? Yeah. It's probably a cool ass city. Yeah, it's probably wild. Dude. What's the mayor had to ex- the mayor of Nigeria had to explain he's not a clone? No, not the mayor, the like president, right? Or some shit. They, they don't Ooh, have a president. Good luck? No. Good luck is Good out. luck's gone. Yeah, it's someone else. Uh. Good luck Jonathan's gone? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn, that's such a good That's name. their version of like a right wing populist movement is some guy named Bad Luck Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, Bad Luck Jonathan is the worst president <laughs> we have ever had. He has a disgrace to the good luck name. He's the warrior. Yeah. Mm. Fucking uh, hungry Nigeria. now. Yeah. Therapy. President of Nigeria. Is it Tokyo Sex Wale? Oh, it's is not. it Muhammadu Buhari. That's a cool name. Bukola Saraki. Mm-hmm. Yemi Great Osimbajo. Names. Damn. Alusagan Obasanjajo. Dude, these are all incredible. <laughs> yeah, Bola Tanubu. No, are these real names are you? Yeah, dude. Bola Tanubu. <laughs> Bola Tanubu. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? My name's Bola Tanubu. Yeah, what's up? I'm Bolo Tanubu. <laughs> this, this is my friend Stritchy. <laughs> Stritchy and Boge. <laughs> Down here. Boge. <laughs> what's up, Boge? <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Boge? You trying to fucking and, take down these natty ices, yeah? Me and Boge and Stritchy hanging out in Africa. Yeah, we're going over to Africa. <laughs> yeah. Chris, yeah. Chris fuck, I need to go to Africa for look at this. Look at this politician's I've headshot. I've been to Park Heights. It looks like he, like, the photographer sucks, all, but he looks like he's, like, trying to be an author, but then also, like, a thought. Oh, yeah. He, he's, like, like really cute. Oh, yeah, he's I know that. He's cheeky. He's trying to be cute. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying to be cheeky like the pussies of the four-year-olds Adam looked yeah. at. Oh, damn. He went the Bill Clinton route. Oh, playing the saxophone. Yeah. Saxophone. Mm-hmm. Damn. I want to be a warlord, a rich warlord. Uh, Just get all kinds of regional pussy. Yeah. Mm. That would be great, machine dude. guns. I mean, Idi Amin is my personal hero. <laughs> the last king of Scotland. Yeah. What a great honorific to bestow upon yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we talked about this at some point. What is yeah. the? I want to. We never looked up the origin, but I respect him so much. <laughs> okay, there's literally someone named Butchie. That's awesome. Yeah. Butchie in and Nigerian Chata. Nigerian in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Butchie. Butchie. B- oh, the the Butchie. Yeah, me and Butchie and Boge. Yeah, it's <laughs> Bushy and fucking yeah. Boge <laughs> in Tokyo. Yeah, it's me, Alechi, Sefi, Ben, <laughs> Helon, J.P. Clark. <laughs> Elmathan John. Elmathan? Yeah. Dude, that rules. Elmathan That's Elmo's John. Yeah, it's like name. Elton John, but it's El Nathan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Nigerian novelist, satirist, writer, and lawyer. Shouts out to El- Elmathan. This oh, is the yeah. kind of shit that I'll like be, like read and be like, this is going to be hilarious. And I just get really into it and I'm crying and turning yeah, every yeah, page. Yeah. <laughs> well, just like, what, what were we like? Nigeriabusiness.com. Oh, yeah, business, and it's yeah, just yeah. like, yeah, of course. It's a ma- major market. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it's, it's, a, like, <laughs> it's the seventh highest GDP <laughs> yeah. in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're the richest country in Africa. I'm I want to just go around Nigeria meeting people and shaking their hands and being like, hello, kiss by Rose. Kiss by Rose. <laughs> <laughs> just you're greeting people with that, and they don't get it. They don't know if it's racist or not. They'll yeah, never know. I don't get it either. Yeah. I told you it's about just that. Just a reference to Seal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Who's from Senegal? I think. Yeah, I yeah. That's He's why I was confused. England, I thought. 
Suck on my dick you know Cause I mean. I'm gay <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Just go up to them Kiss me through the phone mm-hmm. Kiss me through the phone Kiss me through the phone Kiss me through the phone <laughs> yeah, This so, one's good boy. Yeah, God's so, will so, Akpabio God's will Akpabio <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn The guy's first name is God's will yeah. One word No his rules. first name is Chief Chief? Chief God's will Obad Akpabio Oh my fucking god what, what, Dude they go They go fucking the wild on rule, The names rule dude yeah. yeah why can't we well, I can't. You can well, name anything. Well, we were talking about anything. Nick Ad- Nick naming his son Adam's gay. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, there are like if you go on Nigerian <laughs> Facebook, all, uh-huh. all the girls have names like you know Stephanie. Too good for you. That's true. Yeah, blessing. Then, yeah, yeah, blessing. Oh, a lot of blessings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Lord's light. Yeah, Nigerian names are the best names. Mm-hmm. I had I had a friend. Well, I guess my friend was named Vivian. It's not that cool, but. Yeah, Vivian's. She's um, Nigerian. Yeah. Did she have to go there on punishment? No, she never. She's a good kid. Here we go. Three hundred eighty nine astounding Nigerian baby names on momjunction.com. dot <laughs> com. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Read them all. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is Mom Junction? Oh, that's where moms go to. Mommy to blogging is so baby. goddamn funny. Yeah. I love it because I fucked all of those moms. The blog. Abe Easy, Abe you Marunkoji. That's a, not a, funny. A baby. <laughs> a baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> baby. And, and then what that means is we asked for a girl child. Mm. That's the meaning of the name. That's a cute name. Abeo. Abadugan. Abadugan. Abbey Odin. Where's, <laughs> yeah. Where's Bunchy? <laughs> Bunchy. Bunch, yeah, bu- Butchie and Butchie, Butchie and Skitchy. Boge, Skitcho, <laughs> me and Skitchy and Boge, <laughs> and Akawada, <laughs> Akparova, Wawu. Okay, that one's yeah. It's A K P O R O V W O V W O. Damn, Akporo Vovo, Vovo, Vovo is a great sound. Yeah. Vovo, Amechi, Amandi, Amobi. Anor Behe, Anazi. These are cool ass names. And Will Chukwu, and Wooly, Aretta, Raichu, Raichu, Voltron, Charizard. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Okay, I guess Azzy evolves into Azubuki. <laughs> Azubuki is a good ass name too. Mm-hmm. That sounds Japanese to me though. Oh, this is great. So it has the meanings of the names, right? Mm-hmm. So the name Banjoko means "Don't ever leave me." Damn. That the name Binyella means stay with me. So a lot of these are like toxic relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your friends will never believe you. Yeah. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No one gets you like me, baby. I'm sorry. I hit you. This one's Adam's name. It's Chichima. It means mm-hmm. a sweet and precious girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chichima. I'm going to start Chichima. calling you Chichima. <laughs> Chichima. Bring to me my sandals. <laughs> You know, the sweet and precious part Chichima of Chichima Friedland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then you're not going to find one about a fat baby, so don't even try, I'm, man. You know what, bitch? I will. <laughs> Fattest baby ever. Maybe you should... Um, uh, good afternoon. My name is... Uh, go, uh, good night... Uh, <laughs> uh, good night, uh, moon cricket. And oh, I, no. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes. And I have come sure all the way from name? Africa to... <laughs> If you want to just double check your uh, my, oh, yes. your license and make sure what your name is, <laughs> <laughs> my name is. You want to double check? Real my quick? name is Goodnight James. There we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, sometimes my name is so racist it becomes even more racist to me when I say it. <laughs> but I, I am the president of Money in Africa. Oh and wow! I have what an this honor! Australian idea. And I would like to purchase this idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because if it does not work for Australia, maybe it will work for Africa. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. good luck. I heard you guys over in Africa have a new uh, uh, tourism slogan, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Africa, come visit Africa. <laughs> Africa, Africa, do not have gay sex here. <laughs> do not oh, have. Hey, wombo, wombo. <laughs> Africa, do not have gay sex here. <laughs> visit beautiful <laughs> Africa. <laughs> A land of many opportunities, <laughs> but do not have gay sex. Please Ooh, do not do it. Under circumstances, yeah. have gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> do not have gay sex. Africa, Africa, Africa. 
visit Africa. Visit Africa, but visit not Africa. Africa. Got your city, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, we should we should be on the tourism board, dude. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't. I can't really recall. I've already told the story about the baseball team that almost got that kid to suck their dicks. Yeah. Oh, we forgot about that character. The. Af- <laughs> Oh, every the every time, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Had these black guys come by and they trick me into sucking their penis. <laughs> they tell me it is made out of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I believe them, <laughs> and I don't know why, I should know better. I am also black. I am also black. <laughs> I am also a black person. <laughs> but every time they trick me, <laughs> they put just a little bit of chocolate they at say, the top. But this time it's different. <laughs> <laughs> this time it will taste like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> for about the first 10 seconds, I'm, I'm waiting for it to taste I'm like chocolate. They said to me, Bishop, every time I, <laughs> you, you, you come by here, we say we have chocolate for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good ass guy. It is a good guy. Mm-hmm. I, I think mean, Jussie I mean, sucks just good like, dick. <laughs> the thing, you'd have to be so <laughs> stupid to think, like, I'm going to fake a hate crime. And just hire my two Nigerian it's friends. It's terrible. Dude. Yeah, it's such a t- like it's such a despicable thing to do. Yeah, um, and but really I mean, go does, to town on your it ass. It does make you wonder. Like, <laughs> does this mean that every other hate crime was just too? Sexy Nigerian. I think so. Yeah. Yep. And every Matthew, church bombing. Matthew every Shepherd. black church bombing. <laughs> <laughs> sexy Nigerian. Apparently, Matthew Nigerian Shepherd. Nigerian bodybuilder. <laughs> the guy that like wrote. <laughs> I mean, it is funny. Little to BDSM. Right. Elliot uh, Emmett Till just being fucking just yeah. just kidnapped by One of Nigerians <laughs> in the sixties or yeah, whatever yeah, it was. Right. Yeah, no, it was like hey, the- hey, Matt, uh, why don't you come into our car? <laughs> We are going to teach you how to lift weights. <laughs> we are going Christ. to teach you how to do bodybuilding. <laughs> Every time I go to get uh, uh, my haircut, they end up fucking my ass. <laughs> They fuck me in my ass every every time I go. Oh yeah, hit that record. We got a new guy, dude. No, I already started. Oh really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> every time we go, I go to the haircut. Why is it that when I get my haircut, I live and my ass is fucked? They say they have to put the scissor in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why? Why is this? <laughs> Salute to the gullible mm-hmm. African man getting, I guess, raped at the barber shop every mm-hmm. time. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, emergency room, huh? Would yeah. you like to? Would you like to describe the scene at the emergency room? My sister room? got food poisoning. That sucks, bro. And then as we were waiting, she was better. So then we just left. But we were there for three and a half hours. Well, there's some colorful characters, maybe. Oh yeah, there's a there's a there's a little Chinese lady with a walker that was just like a little Chinese lady. <laughs> Who's just walking around telling everyone to eat her pussy? Her pussy <laughs> smells so fuck bad. Fuck you, motherfucker! Staring at me, <laughs> eat my pussy, bitch. <laughs> really? Was she talking like that? Yeah. How old? Are we uh, just for the record, none of this happened. No, I swear to God, <laughs> it uh, did not happen at all. You know what? I'm not going to tell my misheard, stories Adam anymore. Adam misheard this Chinese yeah, she woman was speaking Chinese, and then he was he's like, was "Wouldn't it be funny Mandarin. if she was saying eat my pussy?" No. <laughs> The police uh, yeah. actually. There's a black guy there woman. throwing bananas at everyone. There wasn't, but there was an African guy in a gown with his ass out that was like, "Give me my clothes back." <laughs> he says, "This is bullshit. I don't have to stay here. I want my clothes." <laughs> Respect. Yeah, they're like, "Yeah, you. Do. It's the hospital. Yeah. You're not in jail. <laughs> you don't have to stay." Here. <laughs> I yourself. demand a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sir, you came in here because there was a pair of scissors in your ass. <laughs> yeah, you got a haircut. <laughs> you came in here you tried demanding to get, someone finish your haircut. Yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> and take the scissors out of your ass. <laughs> we took them out and the used the guy, to going, cut your hair. Going, just going to the emergency room and taking all of his clothes off. <laughs> and they're like, what are you doing? It's like, I want my hair cut right now. <laughs> <laughs> Finish my hair Why did somebody cut my hair? Where do you go to get a haircut? 
I do not know where the, what this place is or what you are supposed to do here. All I know is I want my haircut and I want my goddamn clothes back. They're in a pile right next to you. You took them off. Oh, fuck. Under, yeah. the, under the sea. Under, under the sea. So can hey, Ria, every time I go to see your breasts, you do not show me why. <laughs> I want to pinch her breast. <laughs> as a lobster, as there's one thing I want to do, it's to pinch her breast. <laughs> I want to pinch her nipples. <laughs> Flounder, please. Please help me pinch her nipples. I want to so bad. I have a rash under my little ball sack. I can't wait to fuck her. <laughs> You're not going to get the fucker. Uh, it's Sebastian. Want, I want it. <laughs> the You're a lobster. The only thing I want is to fuck a pussy. <laughs> what would you even do with mermaid pussy? Shut up, bitch. Oh, here's a good one. Shut up. <laughs> you, you are a gay fucker. <laughs> hey, man. You are a gay Don't f- make me go to HR again. You are a gay fucker. <laughs> I, I am the lobster who fucks. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to get pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I sit on this rock and I think about how to get a pussy. <laughs> Why don't you just fuck lobsters? Shut up. <laughs> I can't wait to. <laughs> oh. I just one... want to pu- use my claw to get a pussy. <laughs> Here's a cartoon of Ariel fucking her dad. Yeah, they have a gay sex wrestling match, and then one of them finally gets top position and fucks the other one, and then he looks to the crowd and he says, Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I want to do that to Ariel. I cannot wait to get pussy. <laughs> Meg Griffin get fucked. Have you ever closet. tried just talking to a girl flounge? Uh, I do not Sebastian. Get, that is fucking gay. <laughs> I just want just to ask get, her out on a date. Because I want to fuck her. So but Ariel, how are you? Good day to you. <laughs> I wrote a gay ass song what to bitch. impress. I wrote not a, even look at me. I wrote a gay ass song to impress Ariel. <laughs> About leaving under the sea. <laughs> and hopefully she likes my gas song so I can have sex with her pussy. <laughs> In Cell Sebastian, dude. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I will never do. I wrote a song, it didn't work. She did not like that. I'm song. going to kill every girl lobster in the under the sea. I have to get a pussy. If I it makes me so mad that I do not get it. <laughs> yeah, it it's just surround exist. sound. But how do you do it if you don't have surround Nine sound? Nine channels. You suck my dick. That's how. <laughs> what? Yep. Sorry. Adam. You, what? I have bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, are you going to rape Adam? I'm going to rape Adam. <laughs> I cannot wait to rape him. To get back at area, <laughs> I will show. The only way to not be a virgin anymore is you have to rape a virgin, <laughs> and that will cure you of being a virgin. You could just have sex. I don't know how. <laughs> I've never done it. I do not know if I have a dick <laughs> because I am a lobster. <laughs> I think I lay eggs, <laughs> <laughs> but I want to fuck. <laughs> All I want to do is fuck Ariel, but I can't Doesn't because I understand l- his own body. Doesn't know if he has a cock or a pussy or if he lays eggs. <laughs> because I think I lay eggs. But I want a pussy. But I want it. I want to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> but I do not know what to put into her pussy. <laughs> I don't think I have a D. <laughs> He's not sure. He's not sure if he has a dick or not. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot see it. All I can see are my claws. <laughs> my, my body is 
made so all I can see is my claws. <laughs> I don't know what my body look like behind my head. <laughs> I think I have many legs like a spider. <laughs> Is that what it feels like? <laughs> but I do not know if I have a dick. <laughs> do I, have a dick? I do. <laughs> swim around and look and see if <laughs> I have a dick. <laughs> do I have it? Oh, all I see is a tail. God damn it. <laughs> do you think I can put the tail in Ariel's pussy? <laughs> what are you guys up to? Oh, Ariel. Oh, yeah, looking very beautiful we were today. Just talking about uh, Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite holiday, Kwanzaa. Anyways, what that pussy do? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, uh, Under the Sea? <laughs> do, you know, do you know my song for you? He's Jamaican, actually, right? Yeah, yeah he's yeah, not yeah. African. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I do not know if I'm though. Jamaican or African. <laughs> Maybe it's... Because here's the thing. I've gotten to the point where I need to do exercise for my cock to work. Well, what if, if I have a busy week? Here's the thing. That's if you, where Bluetooth If you like in. sex, you'll like Bluetooth. I love sex. Stop it. It's no good at it. I'm good at it. He's trash. I'm good at fucking. I'm going to order it because sex, I want to hurt don't my know. girlfriend with a yeah. larger penis. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know if... You... I'm sick of her being comfortable with my smaller, <laughs> I don't, mostly not even hard penis. I don't know if you like Bluetooth.com because... I have to take the pills to see if I have a dick. <laughs> Sebastian. I don't know whether I have a dick or not, but I want to fuck Ariel. Can a lobster take that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I do. If you're a lob if you're an anthropomorphic lobster out there, you I don't. Like, I don't know if I can you know, chew yeah. things. Yeah, that's. True. I have to crush them with my claws. Crush them with your claws and then put them in. I don't know. And then I put the dust in my mouth. Put the dust in your mouth. <laughs> because I love eating dust. <laughs> just, yeah. just pay five dollars for shipping. <laughs> That is Bluetooth.com promo code Comtown. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there you go. Promo code Comtown. Thank you, Africa, Sebastian. Yeah. Well, the, I, I do not like that my body is segments. <laughs> I wish my segments were different. Damn, I want lobster now, dude. Yeah. Lobster's so good. Somebody is, good. is trying to eat me. <laughs> I, f I hate when this bitch tried to eat me. <laughs> well, let me hey, you can't come up with classic bits like pretending to be Sebastian wanting to fuck Ariel for seven minutes. <laughs> that was All the time, bit, you know? <laughs> I do not know if my penis is real. I want to jam my little flappers. I, have, I think I have. I, I reached down there to see... And I think I have two different penises. <laughs> <laughs> and I do not know which one to use. <laughs> I got horny at Ariel and then I sneezed a bunch of piss. Look, I gotta look my mother in the eye. I cannot that. wait to get my ass fucked. <laughs> I cannot wait to get my face pissed on by Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, geez, Sebastian, do you want to go back to working on the song? <laughs> Shut up, faggot. <laughs> Shut your yellow faggot ass up, bitch. You're a little boy. You're a little bitch boy. I'm a grown man with at least two penises. I, I used to be self-conscious, but then I found out that I, I have none. Not, I thought I had zero dicks, but it turns out I have at least two dicks. Two special ones. And the others are, are made to attract peace. Does flounder have, do, do fishes have cocks? No, right? They do. They're eggs. They like spray their cum. Yeah. Horseshoes that are horse. Seahorses. Yeah, Seahorses. And then Sebastian. You got it. Horses. <laughs> Sebastian's just like God walking damn. into the into the cave. Yeah, we're so dumb. Dude. Sebastian's walking into the cave and he's like, Ariel, good news. I have written a new song for you. And she's just fucking flounder. And he's like, what the f What is this? He has a faggot. She's like, I'm sorry, Sebastian, but he's also a fish. My lower half is fish, so it makes sense that I would fuck him. Yeah, that Literally no sense. one else in this community is other than my dad and I can't fuck him. So Flounder's the only person and that look, I... Flounder's nice. But Should I have... go down on... on but Ursula? why would you do this? I have two penises. <laughs> I went... I, did, I had to look it up in a book <laughs> to find... <laughs> do you know how hard it was for me to learn how to read? <laughs> when my brain is made out of peace. <laughs> to, f 
read a book, you find out that I have two penises that drink your piece. And you, and like, her father just staring at him blankly. Get out of here, you fucking bitch. Yeah. Sorry, Sebastian. Looks like you're the one that's gay. <laughs> you are still a fucker. <laughs> why did I clap these little pussy cheeks? <laughs> Tell me why I clapped Ariel's pussy uh-huh. like that. I hate, I hate being under the seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is racist. <laughs> this is a racist. This is the most racist thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> pussy for lobsters. Why do not I get in the pussy? <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, they should do the live action. When they do the live action remake, uh, with real really lobsters, there should be a subplot. Mm. Someone did mention this, though. Apparently, Sebastian is a crab and not a lobster. What? Yeah, no, that's no, a he's a lobster. No, he's a crab. He he's just red. looks like a lobster. No, he's a lobster. Because they had to give him like big black people lips, and it made his face too big, and so he can't be a crab. I mean, it doesn't look. He's like, a lobster, but you couldn't put those lips on a crab. They had to make the eyes come mm-hmm. out to meet the lips. That's an old. That's thing. what a lobster that... looks like. Yeah, I know, but it's a crab. Yeah, that doesn't make. Why would Why would they draw him as a different well, fucking why animal? Why would a lobster have a Caribbean accent? Why would a fucking crab have a Caribbean accent? Because they live in the Caribbean. Lobsters probably live all over the place. Nah, they live in, in. You were saying lions live in Rome, which I don't even know if that's true. They do, dude. the The, the original distribution of lions was all the way up to fucking like, yeah. I mean, well, it was, who's certainly, to say uh, they were all throughout Greece and like Turkey? No, shit. we didn't have lions. They did have lions. Actually, you're right. There was a lot. I don't know. I don't know. They if talked about lions a lot. I don't know if it's that the because the, there, there was the what is it the Barbary lion or whatever. That looks the same, I guess, as a regular lion, but that they but had that smaller. Shit in, they had that shit in fucking like England. But well, the, what I'm the saying, North African lion. What I'm saying is, why can't a lobster be in the Caribbean? Huh? Why can't a lobster be in the Caribbean? Because it's just you know, not. It's not their culture. They're not allowed. You know, yeah. you stay in your country, <laughs> dude. He's not a crab. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's a fucking lobster. Sebastian. Everyone knows he's a fucking lobster. Yeah. Crab, I have bad news. <laughs> I don't even. Know. I thought I had a lobster penis, but it turns out I am not even a lobster. Well, all right, okay. You know what? Let's say he's a crab. Yeah. What kind of cocks do crabs have? I don't even know. First I, of all, I'm googling this shit right I the never, fuck now. I never. I spent all my time learning what lobster penis is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Disney says he's a... Cr- oh, what? Yeah. Well, Disney also says that fucking Dan Schneider is not a pedophile. Thank so. you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yep. So what side of history do you want to be on? Yeah. The Christian side. That's right. Look, I'm just trying White to be on the Jesus. Christian side of history. I'm going to start <laughs> saying that. Look, I'm just I'm just trying to be on the Christian side of history here. I Every think they should time. They take anybody that's like a quadruple amputee and they do a new MMA where they put, uh, like, they pair them up with each other, but then they're placed <laughs> in cannons that are pointed to the middle of the ring. <laughs> and then you fire them, and whichever one survives is the winner. That's pretty fair. I know. I mean, I, these are just some ideas I have for, <laughs> just uh, uh, it for the new MTV. Would you, would you, make sure to write them down. <laughs> would you make them more, how would you address, like, the concussion issue with that? What do you mean? You'd have to take, you have to make sure they don't. I, think oh, I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Dude, the best yeah. thing about the guy with half the wrestler, they don't they don't adjust his, just, just his Will, uniform. Will Smith is so the half little, guy that discovers that that legs. is bad for people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Putting them in the canon is bad for them. <laughs> they are getting brain damage. They're trying to cover it up. <laughs> They're getting brain damage from being launched into each other's faces. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about the research. Yeah, there's whole centers in Africa dedicated towards like breaking the uh, figuring out like concussions in sports. Oh really? Yeah. That was well, yeah. Well, in that movie, he was from Africa and he came through and was like, "Yo, mm-hmm. wait, oh, Africa is trying to fucking save us." Yeah, that's what's what funny because like concussion is about. I yeah. Fuck them. The concussion is about Will Smith from yeah. Africa. Africa. He was like, AIDS. "You guys don't understand." Yeah, that's a whole movie. Yeah, everyone's like, "Um, don't you have AIDS?" Yeah, yeah. why are you worried about, about the your HIV? NFL. Yeah. Traumatic brain injury is no joke. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you get some clean water and we'll talk fucking head injuries? 
Like when I heard about those African girls that invented a generator made out of piss, it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I could have been doing that. Yeah, for real. Fuck these dumbass kids. Somebody made it for them. Their dad did it for them. <laughs> Think dad set them up? Science fair. Cameroonian science fair. We make a generator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We made a house out of doo doo. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I could have done that. This fucking volcano. <laughs> fucking stupid doo doo house. <laughs> Yeah. I was on the fucking L train and it was like packed. It was like rush hour. Mm-hmm. Went into the city the other, like yesterday morning or the day before that. And uh, it was just, you know, everybody's like real packed in. And there was an African guy, like a Nigerian guy or something, like on the train, like two heads away from me. And he's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Is the trend is crazy, <laughs> <laughs> like, which I mean, he's, I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, he's like this. Oh my goodness, you know. <laughs> but I've done that voice so much that I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's too on the nose, bro. Yeah. Stop. Oh, Stop trying to make me laugh the, the trend, this morning. The trend is so crazy. <laughs> I can't believe how crazy the trend is back. <laughs> Ah, uh, Barry. I am gay. Uh, I've got a penis in me. Barry, the city of poop and pee. Of getting a pussy and peeing on the woman's ass cheeks? Uh, because I have uh, depression, This the only way we can do the show is if I do not be myself at all. <laughs> yeah, Nick, you got to go full character. I am completely gone. <laughs> he is can, African now, and I, I am Parisian. Wait until I am strapped down. <laughs> Nick is glistening. In a hospital in the, in the middle of New Jersey, <laughs> coming out of forced insulin comas <laughs> to see if it has fixed my mental illness. <laughs> and they say, how do you feel, Mr. Mullen? And I say, have I ever told you about the coconut and the banana? <laughs> and they're like, he's going to need a couple of more treatments. <laughs> <laughs> have I ever... Be sure, have I ever told you the story of the coconut <laughs> and the banana? No, tell us, please. Every every fall. It's a fable? The banana, he makes food for the winter. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. And the coconut, he goes out and he has sex. <laughs> well, he's just not the co- preparing. The coconut <laughs> wants to just have sex. Uh-huh. With other coconut? And he does not make any food for the winter. Oh, wow. He goes and he fucks. He has sex with all of the girls who are trying to go to school. Okay. Oh, he hu- f- human so girls. So human girls? He's wet until they are trying to learn. <laughs> and he gets them off the street. <laughs> <laughs> because there are no bosses in Africa. Uh-huh. Oh. And the banana, he has, knows that he will be cold in winter. Mm. And the only way in winter to stay warm is to have a pussy. Oh, mm-hmm. true. So he puts all the food in his house. Instead of raping the schoolgirls during the summer. <laughs> okay. So the coconut has a and, house. Oh, no, the banana has a house. And when well, we, he's pre- yeah, with all stuff for winter. And yeah. when winter comes, <laughs> yes. uh-huh. the banana, he gets his, all of the pussy because the girls have to go into his house to eat. I see. And oh, the, he takes food, the food oh. for everyone. And the coconut is starving in the schoolhouse. And school is closed because in Africa, winter, you have a break. Mm. Is the there very, winter? The in very Africa? cold African winter. <laughs> <laughs> and the banana. Wow. The banana is getting so much pussy that yeah. he feels sick. He, he feels and, sick. And his neighbor, Coconut, comes and he says, Can I please have a piece of pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very cold and I'm starving and I I I, I messed up. Yeah, I, I, uh-huh. messed up. I did not know during the summer that I should not be raping. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wait for the winter. The banana is having consensual sex. To the be banana clear, banana is having. You could call it that, but by They're if so you hungry. are to analyze the economic reality of the situation, <laughs> yeah, it is it is almost worse than rape. It's, oh, it's so he's actually the bad guy. The, the, the visceral impulses are are masked. Uh-huh. By the, oh, in, the, the inhuman insidiousness Ooh. of the markets themselves. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sex work. <laughs> it's more of a sex when, work. I think. When the 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 moral weight of being a rapist is passed off onto the system, uh, yeah. so oh. the banana <laughs> yes. gets to be a rapist, but he still gets to feel okay about himself and buy the new oh, iPhone. Oh, <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah, that's true. But the coco- the moral of the story is the coconut is a better person. <laughs> 
Yeah, give because us the guitar. Lot, give us the guitar for yeah. that one. <laughs> a lot of people would. They said this is just the ant and the grasshopper. Also, coconuts do not eat food. Uh huh. <laughs> But it is a much different story. And they don't have Way sex with girls either. Yeah. I, don't think. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, what does a coconut raping of human look like? He shoves his whole self mm. in there? I think it would look a little something <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, but <it's> <laughs> 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 oh fuck. Thank you, man. That was a very good that was a very that good That was a great fable. fable. Yeah. From Mr. Aesop himself. Gay, uh, yeah, Gaysop. You call this a cheeseburger? Who was Aesop? He was some African guy telling, a, telling you know, Did lecturing he people with I his gay when, ass stories. I remember children's fables. Mm-hmm. Michael. I remember when children's fables had a better moral to them. Mm-hmm. Mm. Absolutely. Oh, I, was, I, had him, I had him dialed in the other night. It's not bad. What are cigarettes? <laughs> Are they something you smoke? Are they yeah. a way of life. Uh, a way something, of life. Something you smoke. Are they a way of life? Not really. We recently went to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> One of the local tribesmen told me a story about a coconut. <laughs> the banana. <laughs> yes. That's right. And it's a long story, but the moral of the story is the coconut <laughs> is the better man for raping. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of hiding his intentions. Yes. Uh-huh. And pretending like he was preparing for the future. Right. And that's what we are as boomers. Mm. Is we're rapist bananas. That's so mm-hmm. true. Marlboro. We're rapist <laughs> bananas. <laughs> God damn it, Don, you've mm. done it again. Don, get in my office and, and suck give my me head. <laughs> mm. Yeah, dude. Let's watch let's fucking get steaks. You know what? Fuck it. Honestly, let's go get steaks. We'll find some pills, and then we'll come back here and watch all those go to Where do we find pills? We're adult men. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing well. I'm handling my life well. I'm fucking, every year I get better. <laughs> Definitely, I see improvement. There's, and it is, it, every year the pain gets easier. Just kidding. And it feels even better to be alive. It gets worse. Oh, is that was that what I was saying, Adam? <laughs> Thank you very much. Another good thing about life is you are surrounded by people you resent. <laughs> Even though you do love them on some level. I appreciate that. Well, it is true. <laughs> I love you. But too. you are so fucking annoying to me. <laughs> you annoy the shit out of me and you are my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> Coming uh, from you, fuck. bug. That wasn't me. That was some. Uh, that was the that African was, uh, guy. That was some. It's coconut. so funny yeah. that if the only way you could open up emotionally is by doing a character. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Mean, that, oh, the concept of art is funny to you, Adam. <laughs> it's not art. It's literally art. Yeah, it is that's art. literally what art is. Yeah. That's why some of us are masters of fiction. Masters of fiction. Me, as African guy. <laughs> William Faulkner. Yeah, Bram, Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Nah, Bram Stoker, dude. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Dracula is the name of the author. Mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. And the scientist. Yeah, that's right. And the monster's Dracula's name. Dracula's c- pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 